fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the skyscraper technique. First up, if you imagine two skyscrapers or tower blocks, they should not be the same height, but they should be close enough in height that they're in the same chute. We're going to start with skyscrapers in the columns. Uh, the base needs to be on the same row and the tops of the towers need to be in the same chute. Let's remove those pictures and see the real thing with pencil marks. We're using digit 1 as our candidate. Uh, in this example, both the base digit 1s are in the bottom row. They don't need to be on the bottom, but they need to be in the same row. Now the most important thing is that the candidates are conjugate pairs in each of the two columns. That means there can't be any other candidate ones in these columns. I've put in some possible pencil marks where digit one might go. Remember, they can't come in the same columns as our towers. Now the important cells to notice are the ones in pink here. You can see that these cells are seen by both digit ones at the tops of the towers. These candidates can be removed, so we know that digit one cannot go in those squares. And that's often enough information to move forward and finish the game. Of course, because a Sudoku grid is symmetrical, we can do the same kind of thing rotated at 90 degrees. Here are our towers after a night of heavy drinking. And this time I haven't put them at the bottom of the grid. The bases are on column 7, but it's important that they are both in column 7. Uh, and it doesn't matter if there are other pencil marks in the same column this time. After removing the picture, the real thing looks like this. Again, it's important to note that we need conjugate pairs this time in the rows. There can be no other digit ones in these rows. Okay, here's some more possible locations for candidates. When we look to see which ones can be seen by both tops of the towers, we see that it's the cells in pink. And they can be safely removed because we know that digit one cannot appear in those cells. Okay, I hope that explains the skyscraper technique to your satisfaction. Uh, we don't need it all the time, but it's a useful weapon to keep in your arsenal. That's it. Thank you very much and bye for now.